let's get right into it. Number 10. The tooth pain that moves around. Sometimes a toothache doesn't stay put. One day it's your back molar, then it's your front tooth, then it jumps to the other side of your mouth. Most people would just pop some painkillers and schedule a dentist appointment. But that moving tooth pain could actually be your heart trying to tell you something's wrong. Your body's wiring is kind of weird. The same nerves that sense pain in your heart also connect to your jaw and teeth. So when your heart's in trouble, it sometimes sends out an SOS signal that your brain misreads as tooth pain. It's like your heart's playing a game of telephone with your brain, but the message gets scrambled along the way. Some people have actually died from heart attacks because they were sitting in a dentist's waiting room instead of an emergency room. Their brain was telling them, tooth problem, when their heart was screaming, help. If your tooth pain keeps moving around and your dentist can't find anything wrong, that's a red flag. If you're also feeling tired, short of breath, or getting sweaty for no reason, alarm bells should start ringing. Cavities don't jump from tooth to tooth. Real tooth problems usually stick to one spot and get worse when you eat something hot, cold, or sweet. But heart-related tooth pain is like playing whack-a-mole with your teeth. Some dentists now keep defibrillators in their offices, not because they're expecting dental emergencies, but because they've learned the hard way that sometimes that toothache their patient came in with wasn't a toothache at all. Number 9. The Sudden Ability to See Better Imagine waking up one morning and suddenly being able to see better than you have in years. Your vision is crystal clear, like someone upgraded your eyes while you were sleeping. Sounds amazing, but this might actually be really bad news. This sudden improvement in vision, especially if you're nearsighted, could be your body screaming for help. When your blood sugar gets dangerously high, it starts messing with the lens in your eye. Imagine your eye's lens is a tiny sponge. When blood sugar rises, glucose floods into the lens. This glucose traps water, so your lens starts swelling, and this changes its shape. For some people, this new shape temporarily fixes their nearsightedness. It's like getting free LASIK surgery, except instead of a doctor fixing your eyes, it's your body having a sugar crisis. While you're enjoying your new crystal clear vision, your high blood sugar is silently damaging your blood vessels. These damaged vessels can lead to blindness if left unchecked. It's like your body is trading a temporary vision upgrade for permanent eye damage. This miracle vision improvement is often one of the first signs of undiagnosed diabetes. So if you wake up one day and suddenly have eagle eyes, don't post about your miracle on social media just yet. Get yourself to a doctor because your body might be trying to warn you about something much more serious. Number 8. The Thunderclap Headache You're sitting there scrolling through your phone when suddenly it feels like someone just smacked you in the head with a hammer. This isn't your regular, I need some Advil headache. The pain goes from zero to nuclear in under 60 seconds. A normal headache is like someone slowly turning up the volume on a bad song. A thunderclap headache is like someone blasting an air horn right next to your ear without warning. This type of headache could mean there's bleeding in your brain. It's like having a pipe burst in your house, except the pipe is in your head and the water is blood. Most people make a huge mistake when this happens. They think, oh, it's just another migraine and pop some painkillers. Taking painkillers for this is like putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. It might make you feel better for a moment, but you're masking something that could literally kill you. Your brain is pretty bad at telling different types of pain apart. It's like a security system that sets off the same alarm for both a burglar and a leaf hitting the window. If this is the worst headache you've ever had in your life, and it hit you like a truck, that's your brain screaming, get to the hospital, drop whatever you're doing and get to the ER. Every minute you wait, the sand is slipping through an hourglass. If you catch it early, doctors can fix what's causing it, but they need to catch it before your brain decides to throw in the towel. Better to feel silly about a false alarm than to never feel anything again. Number 7. Dark, velvety patches on your skin. Those areas that look like you've got a permanent shadow on your neck, or those spots in your armpits that look like you missed a spot while showering. Turns out your body might be trying to tell you something pretty serious. This condition is called acanthosis nigricans, but let's just call it the velvet curse. Think of it like your body's check engine light, but instead of a dashboard, it shows up on your skin. These patches aren't just a cosmetic issue. They're actually your body waving a big red flag saying your insulin isn't working right. Imagine your cells are like nightclub bouncers, and insulin is the VIP pass that lets sugar in. But sometimes, these bouncers get tired of seeing so many VIP passes, they start ignoring them, making it harder for sugar to get into the club. That's insulin resistance, the pre-party to diabetes. Your body starts pumping out more and more insulin to try to get the sugar past those stubborn bouncers, 
and all this excess insulin floating around causes those dark, velvety patches. Most people just think it's a tan that won't go away, or worse, dirt they can't wash off. They'll scrub and scrub. Meanwhile, their body is desperately trying to warn them about something much more serious. Don't ignore these patches or try to scrub them away. Your body is basically sending you a life-saving text message. Number 6. The Sudden Loss of Smell You wake up one morning and can't smell your coffee. Maybe you've got a cold or allergies are acting up. But that loss of smell might be your brain trying to sound the alarm. 15 years before things get really bad. Scientists have found that up to 90% of people with Parkinson's disease lost their sense of smell over a decade before they got their actual diagnosis. Your nose might know you're getting Parkinson's before your doctor does. And it's not just Parkinson's. Loss of smell can be an early warning sign for Alzheimer's too. Your nose is basically an extension of your brain. Those smell receptors in your nose are actually neurons, brain cells in your nostrils. When these cells start dying off, your brain is sending you a warning signal. Most people don't even notice when their sense of smell starts fading. A gradual decline that happens so slowly, you might not realize it until you can't smell a gas leak. Grab a jar of peanut butter, close your eyes, hold it under one nostril while blocking the other, and see if you can smell it. If one side is significantly worse than the other, that's a red flag. Don't panic if you fail this test. Just get it checked out. Catching these conditions early can be the difference between managing them and letting them manage you. Number 5. The sudden appearance of red streaks from a cut. You get a small cut from a rose thorn. You clean it, slap a band-aid on it, and forget about it. A few days later, there's a red line starting from the cut, snaking its way up your arm. This is your lymphatic system screaming for help. Bacteria from that cut have invaded your lymph vessels. Your lymph vessels are tiny highways that connect to your bloodstream. These bacteria are making their way to your heart. If they reach your bloodstream, you could end up with sepsis. Sepsis is your body's version of setting off a nuclear bomb to kill a spider. Your immune system freaks out so badly that it starts attacking your own organs. If you see red streaks, grab a pen and draw a circle around where the redness ends. This tracks how fast the infection is spreading. If the redness moves past your circle, head to the emergency room. Some people think drawing a line across the red streak will stop the infection. Bacteria can't read stop signs. They'll blow right through that line. If you catch this early, it's just a course of antibiotics. But if you wait, you're gambling with your life. Number 4. The gums that bleed easily. So you're brushing your teeth, and you notice a bit of pink in the sink. No big deal. Just brush better next time. Well, that's what Sarah thought too. She kept ignoring those bloody sinks, until one day her dentist noticed something weird about her gums. They weren't just bleeding. They were trying to tell her something much scarier. Your mouth is like the gossipy neighbor of your body. It loves to spill secrets about what's going on inside. And sometimes those bleeding gums aren't just complaining about your lazy flossing habits. They might be screaming about something way more serious. Leukemia. That blood cancer. One of its first signs is gums that bleed way too easily. Because when you have leukemia, your blood can't clot properly. So that little bump from your toothbrush turns into a mini crime scene in your bathroom sink. Remember learning about scurvy in history class? That thing pirates got from not eating enough oranges? Well, surprise. It's not just a thing of the past. When you're severely low on vitamin C, your gums get so weak they start bleeding if you look at them funny. I'm not saying you should panic every time you see a little blood while brushing, but if your gums are bleeding for more than two weeks, even when you're being gentle with them, that's your body waving a red flag. Because for Sarah, that weird thing her dentist noticed, it led to her getting diagnosed with leukemia early enough to treat it successfully. Her bleeding gums literally saved her life. Number 3. The diagonal earlobe crease. A diagonal line cutting across your earlobe that might be trying to tell you something pretty serious. Back in 1973, a doctor named Sanders Frank noticed something strange. A lot of his heart patients had this weird diagonal crease in their earlobes. Now more and more doctors are paying attention. Turns out, this tiny wrinkle might be a warning sign that your heart's in trouble. Studies show people with this crease are more likely to have heart disease. Your earlobes have some of the tiniest blood vessels in your body. When these vessels start having problems, it's like a canary in a coal mine. If your tiny earlobe vessels are struggling, chances are your coronary arteries aren't doing so hot either. Millions of people are walking around with this crease right now. Some people just get this crease from sleeping weird or aging. But if you've got the crease, especially if you're under 60 and have other risk factors like high blood pressure, it might be time to have a chat with your doctor. Number 2. 
the eyebrow that's disappearing. Your eyebrows might be trying to tell you something important. Notice the outer edges, the part near your temples. If that part is thinning out or disappearing, your body is waving a red flag about your thyroid. It's called Hertog's sign. Your thyroid is like your body's power plant. When it starts failing, your body experiences a power shortage. And just like a city during a blackout, your body starts shutting down non-essential services first. And those outer eyebrow hairs are considered non-essential. When your thyroid fails, your body's thermostat breaks, your metabolism slows down, your brain gets foggy, and your heart rate changes. Left unchecked, it can lead to serious complications. But your eyebrows are giving you an early warning. Think of them as your body's check engine light. You could just cover it up with makeup or microblading. But that's like putting tape over your car's check engine light and hoping for the best. The craziest part is most people don't even notice this happening. They just wake up one day, look in the mirror, and think their eyebrows look different. Then they go buy an eyebrow pencil instead of getting their thyroid checked. Next time you're filling in your brows, pay attention to that outer third. If it's disappearing, skip the makeup aisle and head to your doctor instead. Number 1. The sudden appearance of spider veins on your torso. Spider veins showing up on your belly or chest could actually be your body screaming for help. These aren't your regular spider veins that show up on legs after too many hours standing at work. These are something way more sinister. Doctors call it caput medusi, which is fancy Latin for Medusa's head. Your liver, the chemical factory that keeps you alive, might be in serious trouble. When your liver gets damaged, it starts to scar up and harden. Think of it like a garden hose getting squeezed. The water has to go somewhere else. In this case, the water is your blood, and that somewhere else is through these new veins that pop up on your skin. Your body is basically creating a detour system because the main highway, your liver, is blocked. By the time these veins show up, your liver might already be in pretty bad shape. It's like when your check engine light comes on. The problem didn't just start. It's been building up for a while. If you ignore these warning signs, things can go south really fast. We're talking potential liver failure, internal bleeding, and other complications. If you catch this early enough, you might be able to hit the brakes on the damage. Your doctor can run tests to figure out what's causing the problem and start treatment before things get worse. If you start seeing these snake-like veins crawling across your torso, don't shrug it off as a cosmetic issue. Get yourself to a doctor before your body's traffic jam turns into a full-blown pileup. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.